Welcome back. So today we will be continuing probability. So today we will be learning about transformation of random variable. So let me start. So if x be a random variable then capital Y equals to G of X is again a random variable with the same range as of X the same range of X so this is the general definition now there are two theorems or you can also consider them as two ways to to do transformation to so theorem 1 so if x be a continuous random variable and y equals to g of x is, is a continuous differentiable function different function which is strictly monotonic this is a, again a condition for it which is strictly monotonic then the PDF of y can be found by this so we write something like capital Y so here it will be small y and so we have f of x this is small x now the modulus of dx dy so this part right here so this is the main thing and so now we will just write the theorem 2 or formula 2 so theorem so if x be any this is for discrete random variable with pmf so for discrete this, this is pmf f of x xi so with pmf this then for a function The function we consider as y equals to gx, its pmf will be pmf of y is given at something like this f of x, this is xi equals to f of y, yi. So, this is right here is the main thing. So, I will show you a very small example that is that will cover everything. So, there is a random variable x which is having a density function something like this f of x that is equals to 1 and it is 0 so for this the range is this and for this it is otherwise so we need to find the density function for this function y equals 3x plus 1 so for that so we will be using this formula so we we'll just find the value of dy by dx so this will be dy by dx differentiating it this will be 3 which is greater than 0 so we can say that y is y is strictly monotonic monotonically increasing function So for the, when we found this we need to also just change the range so this was the range so the y will be this range just putting the value of 0 here we will obtain so if you put 0 this will become 0 and this will be 1 when you put 1 so 3 plus 1 is 4 so this is how you obtain the range now just simply put in this function of x x this was modulus of dy by dx so the value of this will be what we obtain this is 1 so 1 point now we we'll just multiply this so now just 
I will write just right here. So the final answer will be what? Uh, f of x, f of y here. This will be given as 1 by 3 and 0. So for this, it, the range will be what? 1 and 4, and this will be otherwise. So this was all about transformation of random variables. So thanks for watching it.